another problem dealing with equivalent systems. For this case, the problem is asking to substitute or replace every single one of those forces for a force and a moment at A. Once again, the problem is asking you to do summation of forces in X, summation of forces in Y, to calculate the resultant force. We're going to find the resultant force in X, we're going to find the resultant force in Y, and also find the moment of all of those forces with respect to the point A. So I'm going to put here resultant moment at A. That's what the problem is asking you to do. If we are going to work and start with the summation of forces in X, this force is inclined, and because this force is inclined here, so I need to find the components. If I find these components, this horizontal component is going to be 300 cosine of 30. Reason for that, because it's adjacent to the angle. And I have a vertical component here, which is going to be 300 sine of 30 degrees. The reason is sine is because this side, this component is the same as this component here. It's opposite to the angle. And that's it. So summation of forces in X, I have this one, 300 cosine 30. And I have this other force here as well, which is already acting in X, 500. And the result of in X will be 759.81 Newton acting to the right. We do the same thing now in the Y direction. In the y direction, we have this force, 300 sine 30. And I have this other force, which is 400. And the result is going to be, I know this should be negative and negative. Don't kill me for that. But now I'm going to show you what happened. So 300 sine 30 plus 400 is going to be 550. Newton and yes it should be negative but I'm going to put the direction which is acting downwards. If I want to find the resultant force, the magnitude of the resultant force will be only the square root of 759.81 square plus 550 square and the resultant force will be then 937.98 Newton. Now, what is the direction of that force? I plot this and I plot that, which is the 759.81 and the 550 Newton. And then you apply the parallelogram or whatever you want to apply complete the box and this is going to be the resultant force which has a magnitude of 937.98 and if you want to calculate this angle for saying something you can use any trigonometric property that you want to you can use inverse tangent of this side which is 550 divided by this side or you can use inverse cosine of this divided by that or inverse sine of this divided by that. It's up to you. I know you are used to say this, so I'm going to keep doing the same thing that you do of the y component 550 divided by 759.81 and that will give you an angle of 35.9 degrees. first part of the question, we already found the force and how the force is acting. Now the second part will be summation of moments. You need to establish a convention. My convention is going to be, not necessarily has to be like that, but I'm going to do everything that rotates in the counterclockwise is going to be positive. And then we start doing that with respect to the point A. So let's do that summation of moments. First, let's start with this component 300 
cosine theta. And because if the force is horizontal, I need the vertical distance between that force and the point A, and that is 0 0.5. The next thing is that you have to do the rotation. Put your finger at the point and apply the force in the direction of the force. And if you do that, you're going to see the rotation happens in this way. And that way is a positive direction according to the convention that we use. Now, this other component passes through the point. If it passes through the point, it doesn't produce a moment. It doesn't produce rotation, only translation. The other force that we find is this force, 500. Once again, force is horizontal. Distance should be vertical from here to here, 1.5. And once again, apply your moment and your force. You put your finger over there, apply the force in this direction. It's going to rotate in this way. So that means positive for our convention. And the last force that we have to include is this force, 400. The force is vertical, so I need the horizontal distance between the force and that point. And the horizontal distance is this one, 0 0.5. Direction of rotation, put your finger wherever you want to calculate the moment and apply the force. When you do that, you can see the rotation happens in this way. And that way is clockwise because we say this is positive, that is going to be negative. So my resultant moment at A will be 679.9 Newton meter. And the direction, because I got a positive result here and I assume that positive was counterclockwise, that means that this is going to be counterclockwise. final result or final answer. The final answer is this. At this point, I need a force that is going to be acting or all of those forces can be substituted by one force acting there where the angle that I calculated was this, which is the same angle as this. The value of the force is that and the value of the angle is that. On top of that, I need to apply a moment in this direction, which is counterclockwise, of 679.9 Newton meter. And that will be the answer for this problem. Keep watching, guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.